All right, sticking with earnings, Colgate Palmolive, uh, panned by investors after the consumer packaged goods company for a sales miss despite raising prices. This is inflation and a cloudy economic outlook continue. Uh, probably one of the more disappointing uh, quarters from a consumer packaged goods company, but still another company I think is doing some pretty uh, innovative things. The Crest, not the Crest, the, uh, the Colgate uh, whitening pen. Overnight whitening pen, it just works. I tried it recently. It still really? works, yeah. All right, yeah. gotta give me one of those. So isn't it just like whiting out your teeth? And then you teeth? sleep with it. It took a little while to get it took a little while to get used the to chemicals. it. Just you paint there. your teeth. Yeah. The chemicals. Yeah, all very all very healthy. Yeah. I'm sure. I mean, it's uh, it comes down to how they're moving inventory continuously into some of the storefronts that uh, are the most massive retailers as well, Target, Walmart, and where consumers are also leaning into some of those household name brands versus, you know, perhaps trying out some of even in the trade down, yeah. trying out some of the homegrown brands that a Target or a Walmart well, might have. But the difference here between some of the other consumer brand companies we've heard from, like the Procter & Gamble's of the world, is they raised prices enough to offset any volume declines or, mm. if not declines, and volume slowdown. And that doesn't seem to have succeeded enough to the same extent in Col mm. Colgate Palmolive. So.